Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. It was done using Lauren Sherman's script, which uses a combination of dots and lines on these four different stems to make our consonants. And vowels are a bit trickier. They're these smaller circles, and they have different positions depending upon what vowel they are and if they're attached on one of these four consonant stems. Uh, consonant stems. This is a very useful diagram that shows all possible combinations of vowel consonant teams. So if we take a look at this one here, um, we have the U vowel, which has a line going outwards, whereas the I has a line going inwards. And this is what it used like by itself, just on the line of the word circle. Similarly, this is O on the word circle, A on the word circle, E on the word circle, and I on the word circle. And then we have that first deep divot, or B, stem here. And it shows what all of the vowels look like on that stem. So this is a B, U. And then we have that circle inside the word circle stem. So here's the word circle line and a circle inside it. J, U, because this is a J. And then a T, U, because we have a shallow divot, which is this stem, which is a T with a U on it, and a T, H, U, because this is a T, H stem. So this, if it was uh, would be a word, it would be read U, B, U, C, J, U, T, U. It's not really a word, because it's just the, the vowels. Anyway, you read words bottom counterclockwise, and you usually read sentences going um, bottom, ca bottom counterclockwise too, but if you imagine an infinitely large circle, um, bottom counterclockwise would simply be left to right, which is why you read this design left to right. And this design was made to mimic uh, the imagery from the show on the bottom of the 13th Doctor's TARDIS, um, which is pretty neat because this is also a quote from the 13th Doctor. So let's go ahead and hop to it. Um, so here's our first word circle. Oh, and in this design I stylistically overlapped the word circles. So that can make it kind of tricky to read in this one. But anyway, bottom of the word circle, here's our first letter. It's a circle inside the word circle, so that would be a J uh, stem, but it has three dots. So it's a J stem with three dots, so it is an L. So one, two, three dots, because these one, two, three dots are all closest to this circle. So L, continuing on here, is um, a line from this word circle and stuff in this word. And here's our next um, letter. It is a small circle, so it's a vowel. And it's got a line going towards the middle. And this makes it an I. So I's have a line going towards the middle. And these lines, they can curve, they can squiggle, it doesn't matter. As long as it starts going towards the middle. So L, I. Then we have our next letter. It is a circle inside the word circle, just like this. So it's a J stem. And it has one, two dots closest to it. So that makes it a K. So L, I, K, because two dots on that stem. And then we have another vowel. It's an E because it's just on the line of the word circle with no modifiers, so no lines coming off of it. So L-I-K-E is our first word. And here's our next word. Here's the bottom of the word circle. Here's our first letter. And it's important to note that lines that pass through letter stems don't count. Only lines that end on it count. So again, just like the lines on the vowels, these lines, they can curve, do whatever, it's fine. And here we have one line ending on it, and it goes off this way and does this funky thing. It ends here, and a second line ending on it, which just kind of curves around and goes here. So this is an H because it has one, two lines ending on it, because these guys pass clean through. So that is an H. Then we have an O, which is inside the word circle. Then we have this, um, which is another J stem. And it has one, two lines on it. So that would be a P. And this line is tricky because it looks like a circle, but it's not. Because um, a circle would be completed, uh, but it's but it's not. <laughs> so it's a line here and a line here. So uh, that would be a P. And then we have an E at the end of this word. So H-O-P-E. So like hope. And then we have these guys, which are all just lines from the H. With a little dot floating in the middle of nowhere. Um, since this dot isn't closer to any of these words and would be on the line of punctuation circle going around everything, which is what this line represents, um, this is the comma between the two two bits. So it's a filled in circle on what would be a sentence circle line, except there is no sentence circle. This is another little shenanigans thing I did. The comma's weird here. Um, so anyway, this is the comma. And then here we have our next word, bottom of the word circle, one, two, three dots, another L, just like this L. So L, continuing around, another O, just like that O. And then we have a shallow divot here with one line on it. So that is a V, and then an E, just like this one, and that one. So L, O, B, E. And then we have our last word here, bottom of the word circle. Here we have an A, outside the word circle, A. Then we have a deep divot with no dots close to it, anywhere. 
Um, so this is a B with an I with a line going towards the middle. So if we have a BI, it looks like this, line going towards the middle. A BI, then we have another deep divot, which has three dots closest to it. So we have deep divot, three dots, that is a D. And these three dots, even though they're starting to get kind of far away, they're still closer to this stem than this stem, which is our next actual letter stem. And we have another E, just like this E and that E and that E. So E, and then we have a shallow divot, just like this shallow divot, with one, two, three lines. So this little arc counts twice because it ends here and it ends here. So one, two, three lines. So that makes it an S. So A, B, I, D, E, S. So like hope, comma, love abides. And there's no period because I would have had to put an extra chunk or something. And I liked how this looked. <laughs> so anyway, that's this design. I think I did a good job of mimicking this uh, with it. So yeah, hope you love it. Bye.